Live from Seattle, Washington, it's The Cube at Tableau Conference 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Tableau. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Seattle, Washington for Tableau's End User Technology Conference, Data 14. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm with my co-host all this week, Jeff Kelly, big data analyst at Wikibon. Jeff, this is a wrap up of the show. Um, day's coming to a close here, our time is done. Um, let's put a bow on the show here. Ultimately, it's a great show. I mean, um, I'd love to get your analysis, but I'd just start by saying that very impressive uh, cust customer base, great product market fit, great growth tr traction and prospects, and the team is all on message. I mean, I mean, they're all singing the same, same song. End user experience, simplify but make it a functional product, and grow. Mm -hmm. So, um, great vibe, people are smiling. It's a, just a, an amazing environment. It's a real pleasure yeah. to be here. Well, I'd say, you know, echo everything you just said. This is a, the, 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 the mood here is very uh, positive, excited, uh, as we've said, over the course of the two days, the customers, uh, Tableau customers love the company, they love the product. Um, you know, this is really, it is exciting to be here. I mean, this, as, as much as Tableau has grown over the last seven years, this is just, I get the sense that they are just about to take off. Uh, the, the pace at which they're growing right now is incredible. The amount of R&D they're going to invest over the next two years is, is uh, enormous. So, you know, and, and the opportunity is huge. Um, you know, I really think we're just at, uh, you know, very early days with them, and, and they have huge growth prospects. Um, you know, we'll see if they can handle some of the challenges, of course. Um, I mean, what do you think, John, about kind of the prospects for Tableau long term? I think, I think Tableau's prospects are good. I think, I think, as I was saying last night to folks, and what some folks were telling me is, basically, I'm like, I think Tableau's a great company, great growth, all the things are on the business plan look really, really good. Um, there's some some white space in there, but ultimately it's theirs to lose. And I said, it's a total home run if they don't screw it up. Um, I actually used a different word last <laughs> night, but um, it really is the case. This is an execution play, and the challenge that Tableau has, and this is their opportunity, is they really need to take the energy of their culture, their people, their product excellence, and drive that next, next leg of the journey. Really scale up, and as you scale up, you got to address some key issues. You got to have the product roadmap. You got to understand the competition's coming at you hard. Microsoft, Oracle, SAP. If they can fight that guerrilla war, stay in the shadows and not take these guys out on the open field and on a direct frontal competitive basis, they will win. And they will win. And ultimately, as I was saying last night and we were talking on theCUBE, I think Tableau could be the next Microsoft in terms of overall contribution, value, the margins are good, it's, they got great happy customers, and they are training an army. People are passionate about the product, it's, they are really helping people. So, you know, successful companies don't exploit customers, they serve them with value and they get paid for it. So, this is a unique company in that regard. It is a horizontal overlay on top of existing systems mm -hmm. that have been in place for decades in the IT business. So, that's huge. The global execution will be something I'm going to watch. I think that's a wild card. I think this whole channel opportunity is a wild card. Now I'm going to start getting into a direct, indirect conflict. So to me, that's my breakdown. Everything looks good on paper right now. They're pumping on all cylinders. If they get tripped up on those issues, they could be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's about execution. I mean, I'm trying to find some, something to say here you know, about you know, what are the challenges for Tableau because it's so much positive coverage and they deserve it because they've done a great job building the company. They've done a great job remaining customer focused. The product is fantastic. So, so what are the challenges? There's got to be something there. Let's, let's, get, let's get critical. Let's try to right. find some flaws. In the so the, here's the challenge for them, in my opinion, and related to what you said. They're growing so quickly. To, to, to keep your focus on the customer as, as intently as Tableau has traditionally, in order to do that while you're scaling like this is very challenging. And one, ways, one of the ways they're going to need to do that is to actually, through partners, uh, they're not going to be able to keep their, their hands on all the customers like they have up to this point. So they're going to have to rely on, on partners to do a lot of the customer touch points. Making sure you wisely select partners who understand your culture and how you work with customers is going to be one of, their, one of the keys for them to do this successfully. 
Yeah, and I would add, just to kind of try to look for flaws, um, <laughs> it's a stretch, um, but there are, some, there are some potentials. One is, and this is kind of, a, might be a blind spot for Tableau, they have such a uh, reverence for the founders and such a reverence for the value proposition that Tableau could get arrogant. If they get arrogant to the point where they think that they're winning when they're actually losing, they have to keep their eye on the prize. That's the customer and that's the market landscape. You know, when these companies have these kind of reverence to the founders and the mission and drinking in the Kool-Aid, you can sometimes <laughs> develop a blind spot around groupthink, right? They're all talking and they're all appeasing each other, when in reality, if the market's moving around them, they got to be mindful for that. The second thing is the product strategy is critical. Their, their product roadmap has to hit the check boxes and they have to stay in the shadows and not take the competitors directly on a frontal basis. I think that's going to be absolutely key. They're already doing it now. They're winning through just awesome execution with the product. And I think the big guys are flat-footed on this one. So I, I think that Tableau is, is a winner. But again, these are risks and you know, if they become too arrogant, and they're not arrogant now, they're super smart. If you look at the program here, how they organize the speakers, how they lay out the sessions, really well done event. Um, people are buzzed about the, uh, the, the, the talks. People are sharing, the community's uh, awesome. All the assets are, are, are all laid out there beautifully for this company to succeed. So if they don't get tripped up on those things, Jeff, I think they're mm -hmm. going to they're do yeah, fine. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I would add is, you know, as a public company, you're obviously under pressure quarter after quarter to deliver results. Um, and you know, as long as they don't succumb to the pressure to take their foot off the gas too early. Um, you know, they're investing heavily. We heard two years, the next two years are going to invest in R&D more than they have in the last 10 years. I think that's the right strategy, uh, but they're going to get pressure from investors to start returning some of, that, some of that profit rather than pumping it back into the business. So that timing is very important, and if they get that timing right, they'll be in great shape, but um, easier said than done sometimes. I, I, think, I think it's one of those stocks you want to own. I think. Um, they're a bit undervalued in my mind if they're playing the long game. I'm not too worried about the signals I see on the stock market side, and certainly as for public investors and appeasing Wall Street. They're not, they're not appeasing Wall Street, they're basically doing their own thing. I mean, you saw Google do this, right? They did it their way, they did something unique. Apple takes this very, very rigorous approach to profitability, that's just, that's their version of taking care of Wall Street. Tableau could be the next Microsoft, but do it in a very Apple-esque way. And I think that's kind of my take on the situation of the show. And, and again, we'll, we'll look forward to next year. We'll, we'll break it down next year. So, um, Jeff, great, uh, great job. Uh, great hosting with you. Likewise. Um, great job. Shout out to the team, folks back at the ranch, blocking away, and uh, all the folks involved making the Cube a success. It's been a great, great run. Uh, this is a wrap up from Tableau conference, data 14. And this is theCUBE, I'm John Furrier with Jeff Kelly. Thanks for watching.